all to the know how series today we are going to see about the level resistor circuit which is going to be the best solution for the voltage drop problem in the pass transistor design voltage drop problem reduces the rail to rail voltage swing and increases the static power dissipation so in this video let us get an insight on how to overcome the threshold voltage drop problem in the pass transistor design First, let us have a quick recap on threshold voltage drop problem in NMOS and PMOS transistors. NMOS is capable of passing strong 0 and weak 1. So this we already know from the basic characteristics of NMOS. This weak 1 refers to VDD minus VTN. Because a strong logic one refers to VDD, therefore a weak one is referred as VDD minus VTN, where this minus VTN is the threshold voltage drop from the power supply VDD. Similarly, a PMOS is capable of passing strong 1, so which means VDD, and a weak 0. Weak 0 here refers to it can pass only up to mod VTP. Since mod VTP is a threshold voltage of PMOS, whose value is not equal to zero, but it's just slightly higher than or greater than zero. Now we are going to explore a level restorer circuit which can resolve the problem of voltage drop in an NMOS pass transistor. This is the level restorer circuit wherein this level restorer is nothing but a single PMOS pass transistor which is connected in a feedback path because it is connected in a feedback bar. The gate of the PMOS device is connected to the output of the inverter. So this here we can see a CMOS inverter. So generally we have an NMOS transistor where this NMOS pass transistor is not capable of passing a strong one. Instead it is passing only a weak one which is referred to as BDD minus VTN where that minus VTN is called as threshold voltage drop. To overcome that threshold voltage drop which is created at this point, we are going to use a level restorer circuit which is nothing but a single PMOS transistor. The gate of the PMOS device is connected to the output of the inverter and its drain is connected to the input of the inverter. See we can see that gate is connected to the output of the inverter and the drain we can see that it is connected to the input of the inverter and the source of PMOS is always connected to VDD. This is the NMOS pass transistor so therefore it is named as EMN. And here, since this PMOS pass transistor is a level restorer transistor, so here that is named as EM suffix R. Now let us consider this level restorer circuit with some suitable uh, case studies, wherein we are going to set the voltages for B and A. The gate voltage B is set as VDD, and the input source voltage is set as 0 volt, because initially we'll try to pass 0 because NMOS is capable of passing strong zero so now what will happen in mass transistor has to turn on for passing this source input at this drain terminal so we should find out what is this vd so for an n mass pass transistor to turn on the condition is vgs should be greater than or equal to vtn so therefore here to calculate vgs we have vg minus vs where the gate voltage is vdd and vs is zero volt so it is obviously vdd VDD we always fix as 5 volt. Usually the threshold voltage will be equal to 1 volt or less than VDD. So therefore VDD here it is greater than VT which means BGS is greater than VTN. So this NMOS pass transistor would have turned on. So now since it is turned on VD will receive this zero voltage. Whatever is passed at the source terminal is received at the drain terminal. So now let us understand that this VX voltage is going to be 0 volt. So once the 0 voltage is given as an input to the inverter, we know very well about the operation of the inverter. It is simply a NOT gate which will try to give the V out equal to 
one volt or as a high volt here we can refer to as vdd and we know that this vdd is being passed to the gate terminal of pmos now vdd is passed here so therefore this is a high voltage and pmos will turn on for only for a low voltage so this pmos transistor which is connected in feedback will not turn on so it will be in off condition and we also very well know that here there is no need for a level restorer circuit because whatever we have passed here is reached at the train terminal so the uh, necessary for a level restorer circuit at this particular case is not needed so let us move on for the next case wherein how this level restorer circuit is going to overcome that voltage drop problem in nmos pass transistor now let a make a transition from 0 volt to vdd and don't imagine that this voltage at the source terminal this a voltage is not directly going from 0 volt to vdd for consideration of our case we have switched on from 0 volt to vdd you will have to always imagine that we are making a transition from 0 volt 1 volt 2 volt so slightly we are increasing from 0 to vdd so now for this case we have considered that a has reached vdd just catch hold of this point at this moment because this will help us in later point in understanding about retaining the previous voltage values so that there is a separate video on how this uh, uh, this retaining the previous voltage values with case studies so that video link i have shared in the description box below for your reference so kindly go through that to understand the voltage drop problem still bit now substituting the gate voltage b equal to vdd So now the point is this NMOS transistor has to turn on. This will turn on only when VGS is greater than or equal to VT. So therefore, I'm going to calculate VGS. It is very straightforward. VG minus VS. It is VDD minus VDD. So don't think of this zero volt. This is going to be VDD. So VDD minus VDD. It is going to be zero volt. So anyway, VT will be greater than zero volt. Assuming one volt, my VGS will be less than vt so therefore this nmos pass transistor will be in off state so whenever this nmos pass transistor is in off state we understand that the drain voltage is going to be the previously retained value so previously what would have come instead of vdd it would have reached suppose say that we uh, consider that vdd as 5 volt so it would have gradually increased from 0 to 4 volt so when it was 4 volt this nmos pass transistor would have turned on so at that point this vdd would have retained 4 volt what is that 4 volt 4 volt is nothing but vdd minus vtn because vdd is going to be 5 5 minus 1 is going to be 4 volt so previously it would have retained vdd minus vtn so now we understand that the voltage that is currently present at vx at the node x is going to be vdd minus vtn and this is going to act as an input to the inverter so now what will be the output of the inverter so now this vdd minus vtn is not equivalent to 5 but it is less than 5 and it is e almost equivalent to 4 volt so this 4 volt would be much sufficient for turning on this cmos inverter so therefore this uh, cmos inverter will turn on and obviously the output will be v out will be equal to 0 now the 0 volt is fed to the feedback transistor or the level restorer transistor or the pmos transistor and this 0 volt will turn on this pmos pass transistor once pmos pass transistor is turned on so this is now turned on so therefore it is a pull up network so now what will do it will try to pull up the voltage output voltage to vdd so now what has happened the input voltage was source voltage was vdd and because of this level restorer circuit which is connected in feedback path with the cmos inverter this node also has reached vdd initially we can see that here we had a vdd minus vtn where this minus vtn was a vd drop problem threshold voltage drop problem and this threshold voltage drop has been completely restored by using a level restorer pass transistor pmos pass transistor along with an inverter to restore the drop at node x back to 
VDD. So this level restorer circuit finds applications in many VLSI digital applications because whenever we are trying to use this NMOS pass transistor, because of this voltage drop, there were n number of issues we have faced. Like we were not able to reach the original digital logic value of one. So that problem has been restored here with the help of this feedback PMOS pass transistor. I hope you all have enjoyed the solution on pass transistor design. It's an interesting option to standard inverter based digital design where NMOS being a predominantly used transistor for all low power VLSI application. This video gives you a means of mitigating the effects of PTL's inferior electrical performance. In the second part of the video, let's experiment the digital signal restoration using a high performance SPICE simulation software called as LD SPICE. Thank you all for watching this video through Electronics Insight channel.